SLA, SLO, and SLI, three terms used interchangeably in the SRE world. Are they the same or are they different? Let's talk about this. SLA, Service Level Agreement. This is your promise to your customers. Remember Pizza Hut's 30 minutes or free offer? So that is an SLA. If a pizza isn't delivered in 30 minutes, you pay the penalty and the pizza is free. For an application, the SLA might be that if the uptime of the application falls below 98%, we'll give you service credits. Now, the second term, SLO, Service Level Objective. This is the internal target that your team works to meet before the SLA is breached. For Pizza Hut, if the average delivery time exceeds 25 minutes, it's time to act. That is, you add more drivers or you optimize the routes before hitting the SLA. For an application, it could be that if the uptime drops below 99%, you investigate and fix the issues before it impacts customers. Now, the third term is SLI, Service Level Indicator. This is the actual measurement of performance, typically an aggregate or an average. For Pizza Hut, it could be what is the average delivery time for all pizzas last month? It's 20 minutes. Great. For an application, the actual uptime over the past month is, for example, 100 percentage. Now, how does it all connect? SLI tells you how you're doing. SLO sets the threshold for when to act. An SLA is a customer-facing promise and a penalty if it's broken. If the SLI consistently measures as 25 minutes, the SLO is hit and the teams start fixing things. Now, if they can't and the delivery time exceeds 30 minutes, the SLA is breached and the customer gets their pizza for free.